Hello, hello. Hi guys, it's Teresa with Critters Crochet. And um, I'm having a pretty good morning this morning. My pain is really chill. I think I have finally, I think my body is finally adjusting to the medication. And so as far, so far right now, I'm not having any pain. But I thought I would come on here today and show you I'm working on a couple of things wait a second let me get this one right back okay I'll show this to you in a second but I thought I'd show you a couple of things today I'm working on um, I'm working on the um, creative creator spotlight product projects uh, for that um, that uh oh my goodness Aaron <laughs> I could not I just drew, sorry Aaron I drew a blank Aaron from Crafting Kitty she does this every month it's creator spotlight she chooses a creator and then you make something from one of that creator's tutorials um and uh you send her she has the um her crafting key on her facebook page she has a um she has a post uh for and it'll say uh july creator spotlight and that's where you um post pictures of your finished product from that designer well this uh, month she's doing sirens crochet s-i-r-i-n apostrophe s i'll link her channel in the description box um, but what it is, is you submit, you can submit as many projects as you want for the month. If you submit, uh, and she does at the end of the month, she will do a drawing for some giveaways depending on, and, and the amount of giveaways depends on how many people submit a project, um, a picture. And, um, if you submit one picture, one product that you made, one project, you get one entry. You submit two, you get two entries. If you submit three, you get three entries. And she caps it off at three entries. So if you um, send her more uh, than three pictures, your name gets put in three times. That's it. No matter how many more past three you send in. So I did this one. Um, Siren had a, uh, it's a sunflower, um, excuse me. A sunflower coaster and I don't know why my voice sounds so funny today I have I've been having a little problem with a little bit of a sore throat so I don't know uh, but anyway and I'm wearing the hat because I'm having a bad hair day and you did not want to see that <laughs> so I covered it but anyway look at this this is huge I made this with a she used a three millimeter hook well I tried using this on my um, cotton and it's a four weight cotton and I could not get the hook to work right. It kept snagging. It kept just, it wasn't working. So I went up to a four and a half and it's huge. It made a big old thing. This is like eight inches. Hers was like five or six inches across and mine is eight, but I still love it. I think it's gorgeous. So I worked on that. This is the sunflower um, coaster and I just think those are cute. And it didn't, it took me, I followed her tutorial. On her video and it literally took an hour and I had this made so it's it's real simple real easy and then the next thing and I wanted to show you this yarn I got this yarn way back last summer when Hobby Lobby had their big sale uh, this is the Bur the premier bloom chunky it's a five weight chunky yarn oh. And isn't this pretty? It's in the, I don't know if the camera's doing justice on these colors, but there's some red, uh, there's a, like a hot pink and a, and a, and a couple of lighter pink shades and some light blues. And if you dig in there, you might see a little bit of green pops out, but the color way on this is called hydrangea. Uh, that's what it looks like if it's knitted, but I don't knit. I cannot knit. I've tried, cannot do it. To save my life maybe one day i'll pick it up but i have tried so many times and i just cannot get the hang of it so i crochet 
<laughs> but anyway, this is the Bloom Chunky. And like I said, I got this on sale. I checked, and it's the Colorway Hydrangea. It's a five bulky. And let's see, each skein has 109 yards, 100 grams, three and a half ounces. It's 100% acrylic. Um, you can machine wash, warm, gentle cycle, tumble dry low. Uh, so she has the next, um, the second uh, pattern I'm working on is leg warmers. She has the cutest little leg warmers. And so they're called the Simple and Cozy Leg Warmers. And so, um, again, that's Siren's Crochet. And so I'm making that from the Bloom Chunky. And I checked on Premier's website, and there are, you can still get this. Um, and there's 16 different colors. This one is Hydrangea. There are 16 different colors in this, color, in this Bloom Chunky. And they're so pretty. And this is how it's working up. I'm doing the ribbing that goes around the top of the leg right now. And that's just, it's the blues, well, let me see if it, yeah, it's the blues and the purples. I don't, that light is driving me crazy. It doesn't show, it's not, let me see if I can switch this light up a little bit. And, ugh. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it'll show up better when, when you look at it. But these are, this is like the turquoise light, the, well, not a tur, yeah. Light blue and then a very light purple that it's going into right now. But this is the ribbing on, and I love this bloom. And I'm using my Furl's 6.5K um, crochet hook, uh, and it just, and in the back loop, and it absolutely just uh, glides through this yarn. There we go. And it's just half double crochets. But guys, I love this yarn. And it's so soft. Oh, these are going to make some pretty leg warmers. Anyway, so that's going to be, so that's what I'm sitting here working on today. Um, finished the coaster. Now I'm working on the leg warmers. And I'm just chilling. I had... My husband was home. He had a five, he had, counting the weekend, he had five days off straight from work because of the 4th of July holiday. And he went back to work Wednesday. Well, I was still having a pretty rough time on my medicine. So my mom came over Wednesday and Thursday. And not only that, my mom was here, but my great my great nephew, who is on, who is fourteen, he came over Wednesday. My husband had a load of mulch delivered, and he came over Wednesday, and uh, we paid him to spread the mulch out for us. So he worked Wednesday by himself, getting all the flower beds raked out, all the leaves and all the junk raked out of the flower beds, and then um, when when they and. His dad dropped him off, and then um, yesterday he came back, and he had one of his friends come with him, and uh, they they worked on getting all the flower beds and around the trees all mulched. And so Steve, my husband, he paid him to do that. So they were they were tickled to death to get some spending, you know, fourteen year olds getting some money. So they were pretty excited. But they did a really good job with the mulch. They, I was really impressed. They, they worked hard. They did a good job. And so, Wednesday and Thursday, I had, I had my mom, my great nephew, and then uh, my other great nephew, um, who his brother, who is uh, ten, and he was here. And the 10-year-old's kind of high maintenance. <laughs> but you know what? I was surprised. He was really, he was really good. And he, he, it was such a nice day yesterday that um, he spent most of the time, most of his time outside. Um, whoops, I think I just did two together right there. Yep, I sure did. Um, anyway, he spent most of his time playing outside. So he was able to play and run off all that energy and, 
he just had and of course his older brother was out there to kind of keep an eye on him and my mom did too but he was able to play outside and just had a big time so but it was like crazy town I couldn't really relax because there was people in my house <laughs> and I love my mom and I appreciate everything she does but it's like what can I do what can I do and I was like well, I just don't know mom I just <laughs> you know didn't have anything really for her to do because um, Monday before that her and my great niece were over and my great niece cleaned for me she um she dusted she swept and mopped the floors um she um my the railings on our front porch needed wiped down because they were just filthy and she went out there and did that and then and swept off the front porch and it's just today is really the first day this week that I have had just me and I have had just quiet <laughs> I love my family I absolutely love when my family comes over but y'all there's sometimes and if you can relate you let me know in the comments but there's just some times when I just like it to be just me and it to be just really just quiet and peaceful <sighs> so I'm enjoying today I, and I think that has a lot to do with why I'm not hurting today is because um, it's just me I'm not having to talk to anybody um, there's not a bunch of chaos <laughs> going on around me and um, I could just uh, I can just chill and so um, that's what I'm doing today. Oh, now look, I'm going to show you this. The pink, the pink is starting to come into this. And I'm, ho I don't know if you can see it or not, but let me hold this up. But you guys, the, she has that Siren's crochet, Siren's crochet. She has some beautiful patterns. She also, she has shawls, um, socks, uh, and it's all crocheted. It's not knitted socks um summertime lacy tops that are just gorgeous that i want to make at some point but look the pink's starting to the pink is starting to enter in we've got the purple the blue now the pink's coming in um but so you should go and check her out and i'll have her i'll have her listed in the box below but yeah these are going to be my submissions for things we're making thursday i'm going to finish this up today um, not sure if I'm going to make a third object or not. It just depends. I've got a, um, after lunch, I'm going to get back started on a, uh, I've got a, uh, an item that I'm working on for someone, for a, for a designer testing her pattern. So I've got to get that done. So that's what I'm going to work on this afternoon. And, uh, so I'm going to finish these up. We'll finish these leg warmers up this morning and then work on the commission order this afternoon get that done and then my great niece who was over here um, and cleaned for me she was clean and she said she said Aunt Teresa can you crochet cows I said yep I've made several she said I really would like a cow <laughs> And I said, okay. And uh, she said, you can really make me a cow? And I said, yeah, I can make you a cow. I said, but I've got several things I'm working on right now, so it's probably going to be next month before I get started on it, but I will definitely make you a cow. So I found a really good pattern, and cute, cute pattern that I'm going to make her. I can't believe she wanted a cow. That's just, I would have never <laughs> guessed that of her. But anyway, she wants a cow, so guess what great aunt Teresa is gonna make her a cow she is let's see her brother's 14 so I think she's 13 yeah they're a year apart so she's 13 but yeah you do when when your nieces and nephews ask you for things you do things for them so <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do but anywho that's what's going on with me um 
so far no cancellations yet as far as the MRI. So it looks like, let's see, what is today? What's today's date? Uh, let's see, let me look on my phone. I think it's the 7th, am I right? Yes, today is the 7th, so next Thursday is my MRI. So I will be going back to Nashville next Thursday and get the MRI. The doctors are going to meet with me that day right after the MRI. And we're going to go over the MRI and schedule my radiation treatment. So um, once I have the radiation treatment, it takes care of it. I don't, I'm numbed up. I don't have to worry about the pain. And I can be weaned off of the pre pregabalin. So, and, okay, y'all, I'm praying that it lasts longer than 18 months this time. That's been the record. The last two treatments I've had, 18 months, and it comes back. So, there are people that have, um, you know, everybody's different. And there are people who have had their pain stay away a lot longer. So, we'll see what happens. <laughs> But as long as I have 18 months of no pain, I'll be good. So, y'all, that means after Friday or after next Thursday, um, it'll probably take me the weekend um, to really get completely over everything. Um, so what would that be? The 17th would be the next Monday. Um, then by the 17th, I should be good to go and rocking and ready to get hit it on this channel and be back with you guys, back to Norman. Like they used to say, do you remember that, um, that cartoon called the Rugrats? That's what they would say instead of normal. She, the, one of the characters, I can't remember which one it was, would say, um, Norman instead of normal. So I'm hoping to be by the 17th back to Norman. <laughs> so anyway, um, but I'm going to get off here. Just wanted to show you what I was working on today. And um, I will probably not be on the, over the weekend. Uh, so I will see you again on Monday, guys. Um, I hope you are having an awesome day. And um, check out Seren's, um channel. Give her some love and go over there and see all the makes out, all the tutorials she has. They are, they're some awesome tutorials. So have a great Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you guys again on Monday. Love you.